In this series of videos, we're going to take a look at how you can use an Apple iPad with a fully configured Synology NAS. As this is the first video in our series, a good place to start is to take a look at some of the applications that we find useful to have installed on our iPad. With the rise in popularity of smartphones, there has been a steady increase in the need to use apps in order to install and configure devices on a home network. So because an iPad is able to run iOS applications such as Google Home and Amazon Alexa, we tend to prefer to run these sort of apps on our iPad. This is mostly because, once a device has been configured, we have found that we rarely need to use its corresponding app again. So rather than fill our smartphone with apps that we don't use, instead we have set up our iPad so that it can be used as a central focus for setting up and managing our home network. When you first connect a Synology NAS to your home network, there are a number of different methods that you can use in order to configure your new NAS. One option is to use Synology's DS Finder, which because it offers a simplified user interface, may be a less intimidating way to set up a new NAS. While DS Finder does have a number of useful features that we will be looking at in a future video, by default, it does not show all of the advanced settings for our NAS. So while we do have the DS Finder app installed onto our iPad, we prefer to access the Station Manager from within a web browser. Ubiquity is a company most well known for making wireless access points. However, to support its products, it also makes a number of applications which include something called Wi-Fi Man. While Wi-Fi Man is a free-to-use tool, that provides basic information about a wireless network. The reason that we've installed it onto our iPad is because we have found that it offers a very simple way to test the firewall settings on our Synology NAS. Files is an application built into iPadOS that allows us to manage files and folders in a similar way to File Explorer in Windows or Finder in macOS. So one of the main benefits to having files installed onto our iPad is that we can use this app to access the SMB network shares that we've already created on our Synology NAS. Drive is Synology's take on cloud storage. However, unlike other cloud storage solutions, as our NAS is acting as the cloud server, we will have complete control and privacy over all of our data. At the moment, the Synology Drive app for iPad is only able to view and share files on our NAS, so hopefully future versions of Drive will start to include features such as backup and data syncing. Video Station is a package that we've already installed onto our Synology NAS and can be thought of as a way to create your own personal Netflix. While content in Video Station can be viewed via a web browser, to make watching video content a more pleasant experience, we've installed the Synology DS Video app onto our iPad. Not only will this allow the DS Video app to stream video content to our iPad, we can also use the DS Video app to download video files so that we can watch content when our iPad is offline. Audio Station is another package that we've installed onto our Synology NAS. It is through Audio Station that we can stream music or audio files to any device. So by installing the Synology DS Audio app onto our iPad, we have an app that will act as a conduit to the music library on our NAS. Then through the DS Audio app, we can either stream music to our iPad or download music tracks so that they can be played back when the iPad is offline. Moments is a personal photo and video app designed by Synology to work in conjunction with the Synology Moments package that has already been installed onto a Synology NAS. The main aim of the Moments app is to gather personal photos and videos stored on mobile devices and then back them up to our Synology NAS. However, rather than just create a backup, we can then organize and share specific moments with friends and family. Notes is another application built into iPadOS. The reason why we've highlighted this app is because we found it to be a very useful tool for noting down and storing details relating to our home network. 
This means that not only do we have a place to record the settings and configuration for our home network and our Synology NAS, we also have a place where we can gather information relating to specific home network projects that we plan to undertake in the future. While our Synology NAS is easily accessed from within a web browser or via the DS Finder app, in order to remotely access computers connected to our home network, we have installed a number of free applications for different scenarios. TeamViewer is a remote access tool that allows us to connect to any computer through the internet. So not only can we connect to computers on our home network, we can also use TeamViewer to connect to computers on another network. However, as TeamViewer requires authorization in order for us to access another computer, for the computers connected to our home network, we like to use the Microsoft Remote Desktop app and the VNC Viewer app. As it will require that we make a number of adjustments to the settings within macOS, in future videos, we plan to take a closer look at how we can remotely access computers from our iPad. Finally, in order to make our iPad more of a productivity tool, we will also need to install a basic word processing, spreadsheet and presentation app. So one of the nice things about buying an Apple computer, tablet or mobile phone is that they're all issued with a free office suite that includes the application's pages, numbers and keynote. While these applications will by default try and save any documents that you create to your iCloud account, it is possible from within these apps to save files to the network shares on our Synology NAS. As Microsoft Office is perhaps the most universally recognized suite of Office applications, if you feel more comfortable using MS Office, it is possible to install versions of Word, Excel and PowerPoint onto an iPad. However, it should be noted that while the iPad version of Microsoft Office is mostly compatible with the versions found in Windows and Mac OS, the iPad version of Office is not as feature rich as its computer counterparts. It's also worth pointing out that while the Microsoft apps are free to download to your iPad, in order to create, edit or save your work, you will need to purchase a Microsoft 365 subscription. So to summarize, by using a selection of applications, it should be possible to use an Apple iPad to configure, manage and use a Synology NAS. However, while an iPad has the potential to be a very powerful tool, it may not be ideally suited to specific tasks relating to our home network or our Synology NAS. So if you're using your iPad with your Synology NAS and have found an application that you think might be useful, Please share your knowledge and tell us about it in the comments.